I basically have two bunker shots in my uh, repertoire, the uh, heavy chunk and run and the uh, blade over the water. Here at Carson Creek Golf Club, Stillwater, Oklahoma, the home course, Oklahoma State University. Luckily, bad bunker player like me, I've got a good teacher. Happens to be hanging out here, Victor Hovland, a graduate of the school and a decent player himself. That looked pretty sweet, not gonna lie. I'm not sure you need my help, but. Oh, I uh... absolutely do. Well, I have a bunch of questions for you for starters. I mean, I, I brought in a 56 and a 60 with me. Is there yep. any, I mean, granted, I know it must vary depending on the uh, distance of the shot, but what what should the average amateur be playing for starters? What I do, I, I always go with the 60, um, just cause that's what I'm most familiar with. I, I feel like it's, it's tough when you don't have that much experience to then bring in different clubs because then you're, you're just bringing in more variables. So I think just get comfortable with one club first and then you can try to experiment after that because you can, you can turn a 60 degree into many different clubs if you know how to use it correctly. Got it. Uh, but that looked pretty nice. Let's see if you can maybe get some more height on it. You, I noticed you had a very a squared face for that shot which is fine but if you want to get a little bit more elevation you know open the club face a little more okay. and then just try to swing a little bit harder mm, wow that was nice you see you got some check on that generally in the bunker you want to kind of keep a steady lower body okay uh, i have a tendency that's something i've worked on because I've been working on trying to gain some speed and it's mm -hmm. trying to create a lot of momentum from the lower body. But in the short game, you want to keep that pretty uh, pretty stable, especially in the bunker. Well, here's another question. I mean, because most of us aren't playing tour courses, every now and then you get a, a lie that's not quite perfect. I mean, it happens all the time in the course I play where yep. the ball feels like there's some sand behind it. Yep. And that's where I think a lot of players like me get super psyched out. Yeah. Any, any like, so say I'm here, Right, and there's like, it just, it's not yep. a super flat lie. Any, yep. how do you get it? How do you get it without hitting a super fat shot or sculling it? So, um, this ball is not gonna spin. It's gonna come out very low. Yep. So, just knowing that, you gotta set a target. Okay, I need to land this ball, for example, to that pin. I need to land this just barely on the green and then just try to roll it on. Got it. Uh, so, for this shot, uh, we gotta elevate it a little bit over this bunker. So, still have a little open club face you're going to take a little bit more sand and that's why you got to swing it harder to get it through it or else it's just going to come out dead. And no more of a descending blow than others? Not really, just the same, just got to hit it a little harder. Yeah. Respectable. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, I've heard so many different things over the years from different teachers. We hear a lot, wide open stance, yep. across. And are you saying that it's just too hard to be consistent with that? So I sometimes do that, uh, but that's, let's say, uh, you're going to hit a shot from here to a flag that's barely over, you okay. know, this lip here. Yeah. That's where you can really start to, you know, mess with the stance there and really swipe across it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just think that's a little bit tricky for the for the regular person. I think if you just kind of have this one stance and you can understand how to use the club face and the, the different speeds, you can still hit the same shot, you know? You don't have to go super crazy with it, right. standing left and, because then you're risking, you know, potentially chunking it and leaving it here. Mm. The only case I'll, I'll keep a square face in the bunker is if it's plugged. Nice. That plugged, that plugged enough? <laughs> that's, that should work. Most of the time when you're plugged, it's gonna roll. It's never yeah. gonna spin from there. Right. Uh, but if it's a really long bunker shot, shot like here, yeah. you can actually close the face or keep it relatively square. Mm. But sometimes, you know, they're really, unideal situations when the pins are a lot closer to you uh -huh. that's when i just i open it oh. and try to hit it as hard as i can so just kind of keep it square to closed okay and yeah you don't really have to have a follow through just let the loft kind of dig through the sand just and, and pop the, the ball up line. okay nice that's pretty good Victor, I gotta thank you, man. You've already improved my sand game in about three minutes. Right? Can we <laughs> I go don't on know. To the you, you look pretty pure from before. Can we but... go on to the full swing now? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Be there Thanks, all man. day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>